Google Brands. I'm waving to you a shark bottle opener that I'm very excited to give to someone in my life. I'm getting ready to wrap Christmas presents. I hate wrapping Christmas presents, but I love getting Christmas presents, which creates a problem. So I'm gonna tackle this once and for all. I don't know if you can see behind me, but the presents kind of line up for quite a ways behind me. I've already gotten some of them done. I'm a pretty crafty, artsy person, but I'm really bad at wrapping presents, but what matters is inside, so that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping presents while I chat with you guys. I am home alone today, which I think is a very good thing today because uh, in the last video I released, I talked about oops, feeling a lot of depression and like having a very difficult time lately. First of all, thank you for your amazing responses. I really can't say enough how much I was blown away by what everyone said to me. There were so many responses that I, I screenshotted and I kept on my phone to refer back to in really dark moments. And so from the bottom of my heart, sincerely thank you. And I've been sitting here this morning watching Sorry For Your Loss, which is a Facebook watch TV show. I didn't know that uh, Facebook did TV shows now, that's kind of cool. And it's about a, a woman who has lost her husband. And so they talk a lot about grief. And yesterday I posted in an amputee support forum about what I was experiencing and how I was feeling like all of this depression a couple months after amputation, especially after getting my leg and just, you know, has anyone else had the same experience? And there were a lot of mixed responses. A lot of people who were like, hey, you should just be positive and get over it. And that response has never been helpful for me. Maybe it is for other people. But there were a lot of people who were really, really supportive. And one response in particular stuck with me. And a lot of you guys echoed this and said that what you're experiencing might be tied to or triggered by grief and, and loss. Essentially, I, I lost a very important piece of myself. So I've been spending the morning trying to think about what I'm feeling through the lens of like grieving something, like grieving something you've lost. I know so many of you have probably had that experience of losing a loved one or losing something that really mattered in your life or going through something traumatic and feeling the grief that comes along in the aftermath of that. And uh, they mentioned in the show the Kubler-Ross stages of grief, which a lot of people and a lot of professionals have concluded don't really mean that much because grief is not a straight line. It's like just like a plate of spaghetti that's dropped in your life and you may start at anger and then you might go to acceptance the next day and then suddenly you're back in rage and maybe you go to bargaining the next day and it just, it's all over the place. And it's like, you just got this big cauldron of emotions and more stuff just keeps getting, you know, dropped into it and you never know what you're gonna get the next day as you kind of go through grief. And it's a weird, weird, exhausting process. I've been thinking about that. And, and this morning, for instance, I have been getting ready to wrap presents. And um, this is gonna sound like a very petty story, so just bear with me for a second. Uh, my husband brought everything down for me so I could get it done down here. And they put it over in that corner. Now, what I didn't know is that over in that corner, what I didn't know is that there was cat throw up back there. Give me a break, guys. The floors were brown. It was brown. I should have thought. Um, but I ended up like s sort of sitting in it with my new pants. That was fun. And then I also noticed that some of the presents had gotten in it. And uh, that was a little frustrating. So I was like, oh, okay, whatever. No big deal. I'll just move everything over here. And then I tried to like cut wrapping paper over here. And that didn't work because it was on carpet. And I was just like, this would be so much easier if I just had a freaking leg and if I could just freaking walk and put everything on the table like a normal person. And I wanted to be mad at myself for having that thought because I was like, you know what? No, this is, this is what life is right now. It's totally fine. Like deal with it. It's fine if you're sitting on the floor like a child wrapping presents for people. But then I tried to give myself space to feel that for just a second and be like, you know what? It's also okay to be pissed off for a second. It's also okay to be like, this is kind of aggravating and isn't how life was before and I kind of wish that things hadn't gone this way. I don't regret having this done. I, re I am bothered by the fact that it had to get there. I'm bothered by the fact that I was in so much pain that this had to happen and I'm frustrated that I can't just get up and walk, that it's a process to do that. And I find that if I can just sit for a second and let whatever emotion I am feeling simply be, like just just be angry for a second without chastising myself for it or just be frustrated at something I feel is petty and then let it go and figure out the solution or be sad 
and cry at a sad TV show and then maybe put on a happier one, which I might do in a second. I should wrap a present if I'm actually gonna wrap presents. Things go a lot easier and I get to a better place a lot faster. This is a uh, something I have learned over and over and over again as I have experienced grief and loss before in my life. And I think if I can maybe learn to accept the fact that I am, I've experienced loss recently and that's okay. And the more I can accept where I am, the faster I can move through it. Like the goal is not to move through it faster or maybe it shouldn't be, maybe it is. But I think that that is a healthier way of thinking about things than just yelling at myself internally for everything I'm feeling and for not being in a better place and for not having a better attitude and like all of that stuff. So I wanted to say all of that on camera because I like talking to you guys and also because I know the holidays, Christmas time, Hanukkah, the new year, every other holiday that people celebrate around this time of year, there's a lot of forced joy. There's a lot of joviality, I think that's a word. And it can be really hard if you are dealing with grief. And I am well aware of that, not just from this year, but from many years with other stuff. And I wanted to take a moment today before we head into Christmas to say that if you are dealing with grief this year, if you are dealing with loss this year, I am really sorry. I am so sorry for what you're feeling. I'm so sorry that it's hard and it's okay to be feeling whatever you're feeling. And I hope that there are moments you can take to let yourself feel that and that it will then pass, that whatever that, that intense negative emotion you're feeling can then go on its merry way, that you can get to a better, better place. I know grief is exhausting and terrible and loss is the worst, but I hope that you are hanging in there and that you are able to take some time for yourself. And now I am going to return to wrapping shark bottle openers and other lovely gifts that I am very excited to give to people that I love. With that, I'm gonna sign off Continue watching sad or maybe happy if I decide to change my mood here, TV shows, and wish you all a Merry Christmas if that's something you celebrate, or um, happy Boxing Day, which I think is the day after Christmas, right? For my Canadian friends? Correct me if I'm wrong, I might be totally wrong there. Um, but I'm sending lots of love to you and lots of happy holiday wishes, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys. Side note, aren't kids' books just like the cutest? Like, why don't we have adult books that are chock full of adorable pictures? Like, I feel like, like, I feel like I should make that a thing. Adult books are just full of words, and words are really great, but pictures are so much better. <laughs>